All right. Okay, so good morning. I wanted to make this a little different because our work with me's are, are amazing and I love them. And if you're not taking advantage of them, um, you need to be because we're teaching you how to grow your network. We're teaching you how to post. We're teaching you how to engage, how to connect. But all of that, you're gonna be spinning your wheels. If you do not wake up and know what you're working towards vision, it's so important to me because I don't think that I would be here seven years later if I didn't have a vision. Like you can't just have goals. You have to have a vision aligned with that. And I'm gonna, I talk about this a lot, but I need it instilled in you. And I wanna talk about the difference between a goal and a vision. And if you already know, great. If you don't, I want this instilled in you because it's so important. So I want you to think about your life in a year from now, okay? So it's the end of 2021, it's December. Life looks a lot different than what it looks like now. And I want you to imagine one of your goals coming realistic for you. So maybe that is, girl, $5,000 a month would change my life. That would change everything for me. That's your goal, right? The vision is all of the feelings behind that goal. And I need you to dig deep and they should be different than mine, but your vision, it evokes emotion. And when you can start to feel and look and say, wow, like life could look different. What if we could buy land and build a house? What if we could put our kids in this school? What if we could wipe out this amount of debt? You start to get in this mood and you write down your goals, but there's vision attached to it. So the goal is, okay, I want to make $5,000 a month, but the vision behind that is how many less fights are you going to have with your husband about money? How many times are you going to be able to walk in Walmart and Target next year and not have to look at your bank account going in there? That is the vision. And when you can feel that, you start to get excited about the work. And I shared this, I think it was last September, September of 2019. And there's this story and it's about these three bricklayers, okay? And then when they were asked what they were doing, I know my, my stories are kind of cheesy sometimes, but I want this to be the theme for what we're going to talk about. Someone came up and there was three bricklayers, okay? And they said, hey, what are y'all building? And the first one said, I'm laying bricks. The second bricklayer said, I'm building a wall. And the third bricklayer said, I'm building a cathedral. And from the very beginning, when I had auto pay, on my dream board. That was my very first goal to have my bills on auto pay. I was building my cathedral. I never looked at it as, okay, when I'm hopping on zooms and I'm selling samples and I'm talking about my products and I'm doing lives, but no one's reaching out all these things. I wasn't just laying bricks. I wasn't building a wall. I knew that I had a cathedral in the making. And I need you to think about your business as your empire. And I need you to think about your business. Like I need you to stop hiding behind like, oh, this is a little side hustle. Like this is a business that can like take over your mortgage. This is a business that can not only pay your bills, but pay your bills like in six months in advance at a time. But you have to become that woman. And, and this is why we're gonna talk about goals is because they're really fun and exciting to write down and you're gonna be all in your feels but you have to evolve into the woman who's physically going to be able to cross those things off. So I want you to think about next year. I want you to think about what's going to be important to you next year. I want you to think about where your mind goes when you think about 2021 and what you want to accomplish. Because I'm telling you, this company literally never disappoints. When Jason and Paul, I hate when they make us wait so long. I'm like, January 7th, can it be January 7th tomorrow? Every time they bring something out, it's, it's groundbreaking. I love that our company is not like, hey, here's a promotion, but we brought it out seven other times this year and we're supposed to get excited about it. Every single time they bring something out, it's literally something they've never done before. It's something open to everyone. A lot of it is life-changing checks, life-changing money, but I need you to get an alignment for when that industry shocker is going to drop, you got to be putting in the work now. You got to be putting in the work behind the scenes. So 2021, what is what, what is that year going to look like for you? Is it going to be, be a year of comeback? Is it going to be a year of breakthrough? Is it going to be a year where you have to call your bank and adjust your monthly spending because you're going to be paying so much 
dead off in large chunks more than you ever have before. I need you to get in feels with what that year is going to look like for you. And when you write these down, I don't want you shrinking your dreams. And I mentioned this last week, whenever we start to write down a goal, there's a part of us that will go back to, oh my God, well, how am I supposed to make $5,000 a month? If I haven't even made a thousand dollars a month, you automatically validate why you can't achieve that because of your past experiences. I need you to let everything that you didn't accomplish go because this business isn't just about excelling in a rank in your finances and your team. It's also about becoming equipped and being a leader your team can look up to. And, and, you know, when I look at, when I look at our leaders like Britt and Lindsay and M, yes, of course they, they make incredible money, but I'm also like, dude, I've seen each one of them go through a season of hell. And I saw them fight for their vision and their dream every day. And that's what inspires me. So I need you to think about the leader and woman you're going to become. It's not just going to be the money you make. The money's going to get in an alignment with your mindset and who you are. I truly believe that. But you have to overcome a lot of you. There's, there's something in the way. And you know, you have this like, here's your pen, here's your paper. And there's this fear. And you're just writing this goal down because I'm telling you to. I need you to move whatever's in the way. And that if it's a, it's a, if it's a belief system, if it is, well, I haven't achieved this in the past. How am I going to, how am I going to achieve it now? It all starts in your mind. And if you tell your mind, you're not capable, how are you going to act on a Facebook live? No one's like, no one wants to join someone who's stuck. No one wants to spend money with someone who's inconsistent. I know for me personally, when I'm investing in multi uh, direct sales products, I'm like, I'm going to go to the girl who shows up every day. I'm not going to spend $75 on foundation. If like you're on my Facebook every like once in six weeks, I want to go to the girl who's consistently on her social media and she's sharing her passion behind her products and why she's using them. And it's the same thing. So for all of these things to come true, these dreams, these visions, the woman you're going to become, you have to get confident behind your message. You have to get confident behind this comp plan. I know for for years and years, every single training I was on with, with Lindsay, every time she said this comp plan's unmatched, she has said that in every single training. What do you think that does to her energy and her spirit when she's talking to a potential? She has in the back of her mind and her heart, this, this company's unmatched, this comp plan's unmatched, and she delivers that fire. You have to get that fire inside of you, but it starts in the way you look at yourself. It starts in the way you value yourself. And I need you to up-level in your heart and your mind before you start trying to up-level your social media, because none of that is going to matter if you get handed this position or title or success, but you're not equipped for it. And sometimes that comes with where you're spending your time. It comes in your, your routine, your habits. It's not just one big thing. Well, I'm going to start reading one book a month and my life's going to change. It's how you talk to yourself in the morning. It's waking up every day and looking at a dream board and you're like, I'm ready to get to work. I'm ready to send some follow-ups. I'm ready to do a Facebook live because if I want to cross this off, I got to get my product in more people's hands. That's what it does for me. Every morning I come down here, you know what my husband said to me last night? Because tomorrow, I don't think this is a coincidence. I um, wrote down my goals last February, January of last year sucked. I enrolled one customer. That's a, like, who was I first off January? I started getting my shit together. or February I started getting my shit together. I started writing down my goals. I started taking care of my customers. I started writing down how many samples I wanted to sell each month on the first or the 29th of the following month. I wrote down, all right, February one, two, three, four, five, six, six samples. Promoters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. However many I want to do enroll, I wrote that number down and I stayed consistent with it all year. And I also wrote down how much income I wanted to make. Not for shits and gigs, not like to look cool. I said, I'm going to prove to myself that my comeback is strong. I'm going to prove to myself that I'm going to get my rank back and my checks are going to be not only doubled and quadrupled, like they're going to be times four, times five, times six than what they were last year. And tomorrow, when commissions post, I will be exactly at the number I wrote down. And I don't think that's a coincidence. I think it was every day waking up, even when I unboxed an $800 pack and no one reached out. Do you guys think like I'm a unicorn? Like 
Sometimes I go live and no one gets in my inbox. Sometimes I do an opportunity event and no one reaches out, but I don't let that get in my, my level of consistency. I don't let it get in the way of my mindset. I'm like, all right, no one reached out. Cool. Like jokes on you. I know what I have my hands on. I'm going to show up tomorrow again, and I'm going to share it and I'm going to get more samples out. So when people don't reach out, can you know that it's normal? And sometimes they're going to see your live two to three days later and reach out to you. So when people don't reach out immediately, get out of your head. So I wrote down how much money I wanted to have in my savings, crossed it out, scared the shit out of me, but I crossed it out. How much money I wanted to make, what I wanted to pay off, how I wanted to give back. Your goals just can't be about you. Your goals need to be, if, if you want to make these goals come true, you got to change a lot of lives. You got to sell a lot of four week packs. You got to get a lot of people in the computer and changing lives with you. So I need you to, when you're writing down your goals, like I said, please do not shrink your dreams based on what you didn't accomplish last year. I don't care because some of you, you've set up 4K for a year and you're going to earn a $40,000 bonus next month. I know that. And some of you are going to stay stuck. And I hate to say that, but it's true. And it's only going to be someone whose belief system is right here. Someone living in it and someone saying, F this, this is not serving me. Get out of my way. I'm about to have a breakthrough. I'm about to enroll more than I ever have. I'm about to sell so many samples that I'm able to pay my light bill and my cable bill just with sample cash. That's life changing. That is how I paid my bills in the beginning. I was like, I had more money in my PayPal than I did in my Chase account for a solid 90 days. I was like, oh my gosh, I have over a thousand dollars in my PayPal account. Do you know how, do you know what that did to my heart when I got to transfer four figures from my PayPal to my bank, knowing that that wasn't work. That was what a couple of Facebook messages selling samples. And if they were within 30 minutes for me, I was delivering them. I'm like 25 bucks game on. I'm going to drive to you when I get off work. I'm going to meet you at this Starbucks before I go to work. I was hustling before my job, after my job. I would tell my husband, Hey, I can make 50 bucks tonight after work. Can you go ahead and start dinner? And I'll be home at eight o'clock tonight. I was constantly sacrificing time because I knew, all right, not only am I going to make $50 by delivering these two samples, but one of them is going to become a customer. One of these is going to lead to a promoter. I had that mindset and it was fierce and no one was going to get in the way of what I was building. And some of you, you're letting like so much surface level stuff that's not going to matter in five years, get in your way. When you think about the woman who's going to cross these goals off, those goals, however much money you want to have in your bank account, what you want, I don't know, those goals are going to be personal to you. The woman who accomplishes these goals, who is she? I can guarantee you she's not living in fear. Do you know my post the other day about the 30% off on Facebook got seven likes? I said, I'm about to leave this place. Seven likes? Y'all are just, I'm going to go back to Instagram. I do not care who likes my post, who comments on my post. I think that Facebook is now, if you attached a bunch of money, like, because I, I put the price points to the products, I feel like Facebook thinks I'm trying to sell something. So they like, don't let my post get seen. I, I was kind of like, damn, seven likes, whatever. But you know what? I put three or four orders in during the 30% off. I don't care about how many people liked my post or approved of it. The woman who's going to accomplish these goals, she's not living in fear. Because if you're living in fear, you are going to rob yourself of looking your husband in the eye and being like, boo, I just built our savings account to 20 grand. It's robbing yourself of looking at your kids in the eye and being like, hey, do you guys want to go to this, this for the weekend? Instead of having to stay home or just go to Chick-fil-A, you're able to spend that extra 40 to $50 to take your kids somewhere that makes them so happy. You're robbing yourself of those moments when you're like, oh, I don't want to post because no one, no one reached out yesterday. How like you expect your team to be like, whoop, 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 we're going to, we're going to kill it. If you're like, oh, I don't know. I just don't know if I can do this. You set the tone for your team. You set the fire for them. So if they look at you and they're like, well, Katie's counting herself out of this leaderboard. I guess I'm going to count myself out too. That's going to duplicate a bunch of like unfulfillment. You got to duplicate the fire and it starts with you. So that woman who's going to accomplish these goals, I want you to think about her because you could be a completely different woman tomorrow in 30 days, let alone in a year. She's not absorbed in drama. I do not allow drama in my life. I physically distance myself. Like if someone comes to me with drama or a story, I'm like, that's crazy. 
goodbye. Like I don't entertain it. I don't gossip. I don't screenshot. I don't, I'm raising kids. I'm focused on my growth. I'm focused on hitting millionaires club. I'm focused on saving enough money to buy my dream house next year. I can't be entertained with like all these nonsense things on my social media. It's not my jam. It's not in alignment with the woman I'm evolving into the woman. Sorry. I keep saying the woman you're going to become, she has a routine. Did I want to wake up at 6 30 this morning? Hell no. My kids are on Christmas break. But I said, you know what? If I get to the gym and I get home by eight, that gives me an hour with my kids and an hour to prep notes for this training. So getting up at 630 wasn't just about how good I was going to feel. It's that's an extra hour with my kids. And that's time to prep this training so I can pierce every single one of your hearts and not just get on here and like not have a message to share. So sometimes your habits are gonna affect other people. And when you can get in a routine and set your alarm and say, you know what? I hate getting up early and it's hard. Put those capsules right next to your bed. Have a note of the days. I think this is important and some of you are gonna think this is silly. If you write down what you want your dream days to look like and you put it next to your bed, you're gonna wanna get up when your alarm goes off. When you see, hold on, I have mine written down somewhere right here. I have my dream day. And it literally says, where the heck is it? It says my days. I wake up and have breakfast with my family. I spend time worshiping and connecting with God. I work out and then I shower. I work my business. I have lunch with my family. I get to relax and have quiet time and read or go on a walk. And then it's time for school pickup and family time. And I put my phone away and then I start dinner. And then I get every single night with my husband. I'm not going to have these dream days if I'm just like snoozing my alarm every day and like getting up, farting around, being like, hope my dreams come true. I'm like, I got to be intentional. I want to be the first one up in this house downstairs, reading my goals out loud to myself. I read every single, every single day. I'm like, my actions are a reflection of my values. I consistently make $17,000 a month. I am debt free. I have a paid off BMW. I have $100,000 in my savings account. Money creates freedom because of my hard work. And then I have two that say, and I hope like you're not like, whoa, you're weird, but this is what I put in my mind. I have been able to allow my husband to spend more time with our kids because of my business. That makes me want to get up and work right there. Letting my husband not work 40 hours a week and spend every single day with his daughter. That makes me want to get up and post about my products. That makes me want to get up and, and be better for my team. And then this one is what really gets me out of bed. I have been able to provide my children with the most beautiful home to grow up in because of this career. There's not one materialistic thing that gets me out of bed. It's being debt-free. It's making $17,000 a month. It's letting my husband spend time with his kids. It's the, it's all the, it's, it's, it's my vision that pulls me out of bed. And I hope this is coming full circle for you where I'm not going to allow a lack of mindset to take away those things. I just read out loud. I'm not going to allow a season where I lost my rank or a season where I was defeated, completely take ownership. Like I'm seven years deep. If the, if I was going to quit, I would have left month six year one. Like I'm seven years deep. I, in no way, shape or form would I ever throw away seven years of consistent work because people who've watched me for seven, for years and they haven't joined me yet. If I walk away, they're going to join someone else and they have potential to change their lives. And who am I to be like, Oh, it was so hard. I just left. I'm literally teaching my kids to give up when it's hard. If I walk away when it's hard. And if you look at your business as like, Oh, I'm just going to give up. No, it was hard. It was a hard month. That's like looking at your husband being like, last month sucked. We fought more than we ever have. Let's go get some divorce papers. I'm just done. I'm married to my business. I'm married to my dream. And like I said, none of that is materialistic. It's the life I can create for my family. And you have such a beautiful path right now, but you got to put your feet in there and you got to plant your feet and you have to utilize everything you have. Our team page spoon feeds you everything you need. We have work with me six days a week. We have trainings two nights a week. We have endless videos of training for you to grow, for you to become a professional, for you to get good at following up. When you come to me, you're like, I, I suck at Instagram. I don't know where to start. Go to the page and type in Instagram. A bunch of videos will pop up. If you come to me, you're like, no one's in my inbox. I have tons of videos on how to get people in your inbox. Okay. So when you start writing down these goals, I need you to write them down 
And I want you to talk to yourself like they've already happened because that is, that's our brain. When, when you tell yourself, I'm making X amount of money a month, your mind's like, okay, let's, let's validate this. Let's, let's find a way to like, make this thought real. Let's make this like your mind believes whatever you tell it. So when you say had a shitty year last year, not going to have a better year this year, I need you to kick those thoughts to the curb. I need you to write it down. I need you to get in alignment, whether that's in peace and quiet, maybe you need to blare some worship music. I need you to start crossing your goals off one by one, because you're going to be empowered when you cross off. All right. I want X $5,000 in my savings. And you cross that off. You're like, I'm going to go bigger. I want 7,000 in there. And then you cross that off. And before you know it, you have a five figure savings account, but you started at zero. You got to start somewhere. Please do not lock yourself in a mental prison of 2021. You literally can't afford it. You cannot afford to live another year stuck. And a lot of your seeds that are going to sprout during when people start getting stimulus checks, tax season, things get launched with the company. That's going to be your work from when you got started. That's going to be August, September, October, all the samples you sold this fall, all the samples. When you plant the seed, that's not the day you eat the fruit. And some of you, like you're going to, you planted a lot of seeds and you're like, Ooh, my harvest ain't popping yet. And then January, February gets here and your paychecks literally triple. I've been, I've seen my paychecks triple weekly, not monthly, weekly paychecks triple in February, March, and April. But it was seasons of planting those seeds in the fall and the winter. Um, and I want you to also ask yourself when you, when you write these things down, what are you so scared of? Like what's really holding you back? Cause I need you to look at it two ways. You're either going to look at it and say, Oh, I'm scared that I can't do this. This is too much. I, I've enrolled two promoters all year. How am I supposed to enroll two a month? Cut out those thoughts. I need you to be more fearful of not achieving these goals. I need you to be more fearful of not hitting those savings account goals, of not hitting those debt goals, of not going all in. I really need you to think about that because you're going to look at those goals two different ways. If I hit them, ah, great. If I don't, whatever. What is life going to look like if you literally look at these goals and you crossed off nothing? You got to become a better woman, you guys, because people on social media, network marketing, it's not just posting a picture anymore and waiting for people to get in your inbox. In 2014 and 15, it was. It was great. You could throw up a post, people get in your inbox. Now they got to hear your voice. They have to see your face. They have to know why you're doing this. What's your mission statement? When you go to my page, you will see that like, I'm not afraid to talk about, I used to be afraid to talk about my success. I was like, I want to be humble. And then I had a conversation with Lindsay and I was celebrating a $30,000 a month. And she's like, you're playing small. And from there on out, it's been the best couple months of my business because my mindset was pierced with someone looking at me saying, you play small, get up and play bigger. You're worthy of $50,000 a month, not just $30,000 a month. And that's crazy to sound, say out loud. And you're like, I just want to make $5,000 a month. That would like, I need you to dream bigger. You have, you have no cap on where you can go. You have no cap on your income. Doesn't that excite you? Doesn't that make you want to like push your enrollments to the next level? Doesn't that make you want to like write these things down and get your children and your husband involved? Let them know what you're working towards. Tell your kids, mommy's working on this and we're going to have a dream crossboard party. Like have it in your kitchen. So when mommy pays off debt, like everyone has a, a glass of juice and you guys celebrate together and you cross it off and you play music. Make this fun for your kids. Let them know what you're working towards. Let your kids know. And if that's a house for you or whatever it is, let them know. Mommy's doing a Zoom, but mommy has a bigger purpose than this Zoom. And one day your kids are going to reap your harvest. They're going to reap your hard work. And I'm not trying to sound cheesy, but when you can walk into Target and buy all the cat and Jack and not worry about how much money you have, that like, that's my, the, I'm like, how is this my life? I don't need to get on social media and prove that I'm successful. Like people can see the glow all over me. I'm fulfilled. I'm operating out of my gifts. I love sharing this business. And if I'm too scared to share it, I'm doing a disservice to the mom on the screen who's scrolling, looking for a way to not make her bank account negative. So you have to get out of that mindset that says, well, I haven't accomplished it. How am I supposed to accomplish 
help someone else. Stop focusing on yourself. Stop focusing on, all right, I want to get a Range Rover and you put, I want to personally help five people hit Auto Club this month. How fulfilling is it going to be to not only, yeah, your dream car is great, but you get to show five other women how to get their cards paid for. That's where like the real impact comes in when your hard work and bravery starts impacting other women to play bigger and they have the courage to go live and do Instagram TVs and host their own events. So I wanted to share um, the Bible verse with you because I think it's really powerful. The Bible literally says when there is no vision, the people perish. And it also says this too, because I pray over my team. I pray over my business. I pray over my leaders. I pray for, I pray for all of that. And the, it says in James one, six, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave in the sea blown and tossed by the wind. I pray big, bold prayers. And I'm not afraid to tell God like, hey, I'm ready to go in Millionaire's Club, but like, it's not for the title. It's not to get that sign in my office. Like I'm ready to show up and be the leader my team needs. I'm ready to not only have that sign in my office, but have my kids walk in that office every morning and know that their mom's a millionaire from home. I'm ready to show all of the women on my social media that their dreams can come true if they stop living in this fearful mindset that they have to prove to everyone like, that they could do this and how successful they are. Like the impact is bigger than what your cloud office says. And please do not give up because you missed a VIP bonus or you miss a bonus. Like one, you probably weren't in the correct mindset for that bonus. And don't miss out on a, like walk away from a $400 bonus when there's a $40,000 one loading for you. Who cares if it's 12 months later? Who cares if it's 18 months later? If it's there and it has your name attached to it and you put in the work, you're gonna earn it and you're gonna see that. I don't even know if this all came out how I wanted it to, but I need you to get deep with your goals, okay? I don't want any of you sitting back and letting the mindset that held you back this year of, I can't do this, I can't do that, stop it. Please stop it. Open your dang iPhone in the morning and stop scrolling on your TikTok and open up a podcast. Put on some Boss Lee, put on some TD Jakes, whatever you need to get in alignment with your message and show up and be bold about this path. Like it's an outdated excuse to say, I'm scared to go Facebook live. Stop it. It's outdated. Like if you told me that three years ago and it's still holding you back right now, shame on you. You got to level up in your mind. Don't tell me you want to make $6,000 a month, but you're scared to go Facebook live. There's a disconnect and we need to figure it out. Okay. I hope this made sense. I hope it inspired you. I love you guys. Have a good day. Goodbye.